The Gridiron Girls took the field in Struthers today for the first girls only flag football camp. First News reporter Amanda Smith has a look at the action. Step through. Great job, ladies. Dozens of girls turned out in Struthers today to prove stereotypes wrong. Girls can't play, um, they can't play football or that they should just stay in the mall and shopping what they do best or stay at home cleaning. There you go, cut her off, cut her off. There you go. Good. The camp was created by NFL linebacker coach Dr. Jem Welter. I know you got more in you. Break down. Ah! Break down. Ah! Break down. Ah! Oh, yeah. I want these girls to know that they can do anything. And I think football is a great medium for that because for me, when I was playing, I remember hearing all the time that football was the final frontier for women in sports. So I always thought if we could do that, we could do anything because this is a place that's supposed to be just for boys. The girls ran drills, taking turns as linebackers, quarterbacks, and centers. Go! They were coached by former NFL players and coaches like Devin Smith, Michael Zordich, and Woody Pippins. Really hoping to help out and teach them as much as I can and also uh, really guide them and let them know that they can accomplish anything. Turnout was good for this first camp. It's just great to see so many females out there that want to play and are interested in, enough to jump on a bus and come out here and come to a camp. And it's really exciting for the sport and, and for female athletes in general. It's excitement the city school district badly needs. Across the district, girls are only participating in sports at a rate of 25 to 30 percent of what the boys are doing. You know, we jumped at the chance to be a part of this. So, you know, um, one of the things we're looking forward to do is, is making things more exciting for our girls and get them, get them out involved. Studies show playing sports leads to better academic achievement, but it's the increase of self-confidence that coaches here are focused on. The message we're going to send the girls is that you're empowered to do and be whoever you want to, whomever you want to be and do whatever it is that you want to do. That's the message we're trying to send. Through hard work and the right training, they can do anything and that there's no game that they cannot play and no field that they don't belong in or on. And today, these gridiron girls One, conquered two, this field. Good job, In Struthers, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.